my beautiful virgos welcome to one of our may readings just realized that we don't have yet a singles reading and definitely it's good to look around your messages let's see loves what do we have for may 2023 for singles as you know singles are not those who are coupled not those who are married so you get the draw let's see Virgo as a general reading as always my highly resonate might be here and there message whatever comes in we'll be sharing with you Virgos overarching energy for your reading we have the Hierophant Three of Swords, Queen of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. All right, loves. There is still some kind of resistance for the Virgo I'm speaking here regards a situation or regards a person in particular. The first card, we have Two of Cups, Sun, Five of Swords and Ace of Pentacles. I really love seeing Ace of Pentacles and the Sun here, which really speaks of a promised new beginning and might seem like from scratch, but is not quite. But also what I'm seeing here, this Five of Swords, mistrust or feeling a little kind of like yes i know there is new energies yes i know there is something better could be could not but i'm not fully trusting it and i might speak here with a virgo who've been probably married before that been hurt by someone in particular could be a water sign could be a taurus and I must speak here with a Virgo who might have the, the Leo in the chart, fire in the chart. I will clarify really quick this Five of Swords. Why the mistrust here? Four of Wands. It's kind of I don't believe in happiness or the happiness is not for me why you think so ten of wands it's too hard to keep or it's a huge burden and never it's two-sided page of swords there's a lot of learning for some of you you might you might be in the energy of i always gotta um, be aware of something to not be there or be aware of whoever comes to be a a good person or in our good clean form but it seems here that the Virgo I'm speaking here if you definitely wanted something new or manifesting something new or looking for something new leaving um an energy behind because I feel here there is something here that you definitely had a hard time to let go or let any go there is happiness that comes forward and many of you might might not feel fully into what's the three of swords here for seven of cups it's kind of like you you you've been hurt but you neither in these days you don't really know why what why or what you've done wrong also with the seven of cups it's kind of like whoever hurt or hurt you like kind of like threw off your center one more card three of cups 
as you see here seven and three of cups this is the ten of cups so it's kind of like I don't want to get love because I don't want to be hurt for some of you you've been put in a third party ace of swords it's like for for a good part for some of you 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 know that with someone you are better friends than lovers or committed because there is times when we realize that certain things here are not going the way we want to three of pentacles underneath for others of you the um, the energy what i'm picking up is you could have way bigger expectations from someone in particular and that is one of the biggest mistakes many many of us including me as i always been in those energies we we expect someone to to give us what we offer or how we offer or how we doing the things everyone which is a big realization of mine for for quite a while now everyone gives and receives differently and that's a fact everyone connects differently as many of you know there is five language of, of love but I feel here there is much more than just five because we are all very different and very much living or have been raised with certain abilities, certain skills, certain traditions. So we definitely are very, very much looking at the things way differently. We could be somehow alike, but yeah. For some of you, there is someone here coming forward, but you, you're you not quite sure. Not quite sure. So let's see. The Ace of Pentacles. What this Ace of Pentacles brings to my Virgos. Six of Pentacles. You, you have a new beginning, loves. But it's more likely to, it's like this new beginning might come in a form of a person, but more likely comes as new life. And to begin with balance, looking more for balance. It's like sometimes we have expectations, some person to love you this way or provide this way or have this way. But more likely now, it's kind of having more expectations for you than for others. And also from others, it's like to be balanced. Whatever that speaks to you, balance. Page of Wands. Indeed, here there's about communicating or opening up for communication, bringing communication or more communication into anything whatever it's coming because i feel here for some of you communication wise is very 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 important another thing here what i'm seeing in your reading virgo we have ace of swords ace of pentacles ace of cups the ace of wands is the one missing and the Ace of Wands really speaks about being creative, looking for something that is, you know, similar to what you desire or how you see the world. As well, the, the Ace of Wands really speaks about look for for the little things in life or focus on little things what makes you happy because you know small things makes the bigger picture 
and that's very very important but I feel here there is some Virgos who've been quite a long time by themselves not because they didn't want did want to be by themselves but more likely to to find their true self but I also see here even though for some of you you could have love coming in most likely not this month taking this leap or this opportunity but definitely here by the end of this year of 2023 you have something to come yes absolutely we have this knight of cups which speaks about an offer so definitely here you do have an offer six of wands and it seems like yeah, it's like a winning energy eight of pentacles it's kind of after hard work finally i get this for some of you if you want to get over someone you will that's definitely especially if you are virgo with the leo in the chart because i have double leo here and i'll think here i'm saying for some of you work wise that was kind of a misunderstanding or you took certain things way too personal and i definitely see here great offers but also these offers could be coming when you you will see if that works or not because i feel here also there's a virgo either you are in analytics or logistics there's something here about analyzing the market or looking whatever whoever brings better because definitely i see you into that energy of i'm looking something to learn grow and expand well i feel here that's the the case the the energy here that spirit brings to you as an advice we have four of pentacles lovers the devil and eight of wands be open for information be open for new things learn more i feel also that some of you might have a hard time to to be into the new things I feel also that some of you definitely needs to open up your heart chakra or heal the heart chakra. For those of you who are looking for connections, relationships, I feel also that you are in between love and passion. Should I open up for this person or having a hard time to open up to, to have a real connection? It's kind of like seems like easier to to have a night out and have fun than to open up for more with that person or certain people. So you I see you from one from one side going to another. But also I see here a Virgo who is it's extremely cautious who who they are meeting who they are going with who they are moving forward even with any conversations and definitely here still says let go whatever here you know and open up for more because there is a lot more for you to enjoy. The advice from the oracles. We have freedom is yours. 
definitely here the choices are yours because magic works through you this carabiteral spirit many many of you you know if whatever you do will work out only in your favor for some of you your your affirmation might be definitely everything works out in my favor or everything works out in the divine timing I have all the time to make it right for me whatever that speaks to you loves but definitely here this single Virgo is not here with or some with someone or around someone who they want to settle down yet so yeah also I'm hearing the market might feel saturated but there is still quality whatever that speaks to you loves quality people quality jobs quality niche whatever it is I feel here you definitely will find whatever it's yours and of course nobody is obligating you to to do something that you might not want that being said loves i hope you have a great month ahead fulfilled blessings and i'll see all of you next time namaste